Hello, this is Nick from ReviewOutlaw.com, and today we're going to talk about doggy coins. Um, so, what doggy coins are is kind of a joke on bitcoins themselves, um, but they've actually pretty much taken off, and they have become very popular and very profitable to mine. Um, you can mine it with a CPU. Uh, it's still preferable to mine it with a graphics card. You're just going to get a lot more. But if you don't have a high-end graphics card, then you actually can mine this with a CPU. Um, let's get right into how to mine it. Um, so to mine it, we're going to want to go to ReviewOutlaw.com. Um, and on the home page there, you should see how to mine doggy coins. I'm also going to provide a link in the show notes on um, uh, just a direct link to, to the article. So um, basically doggy coin is an altcoin uh, similar to quark coins, light coins, uh, there's a lot of different coins. Uh, what makes it unique is it's very highly rated as far as profitability. Um, if you go to a website called Coin Wars, it will show you different coins profitabil profitability. And doggy coin here is it seems to be at the top and it consistently is at the top um, as far as um, profitability compared to Bitcoin. So that's why we want to, to mine it. So um, Basically, you're going to want a graphics card if you don't already have one. You can purchase one if you have one in your system. Um, we're going to just basically go ahead and get the software installed. So first thing we need to do is download the dog coin, doggy coin wallet. And you can just click right here. We have a, a link to their main website. And just click your um, OS. I also provided a direct link here. Once the wallet is installed, you're going to want to open it and then you're going to basically see a screen like this. Um, it'd probably balance be zero of course because it's freshly installed. So what we need to do is we need to get to the receive address. So basically here you'll have a, a couple things maybe just blank saying unlabeled um, and we're going to want to copy this address. You're going to copy that and what that means is it's where the doggy coin is going to be put into your wallet. Um, next thing we want to do is disable antivirus. The reason we want to disable antivirus is this mining software a lot of times will be picked up and blocked or auto removed before it will even uh, be downloaded. So if you have Norton or any other antivirus just go in here. Easiest thing to do is just disable it for about 15 minutes. If at any point you're ever trying software out and you're just unsuitable kind of you don't know if it's a virus or anything like that you can try the sandbox software run in sandbox mode that will just isolate the software from your system it's just a great way to test to make sure there's nothing bad about the software um, but I've already tested the software and scanned it and it's good to go um, so now disable my antivirus we're going to download the soft the doggy miner GUI software here there's two versions there's a zip and there's exe the, the main difference is that EXE will auto install itself uh, into the C doggy coin folder and it also will auto start up with Windows. So if you start the computer, it's going to auto start. You don't have to worry about um, you know manually clicking on it. If you prefer, you can just hit the zip version. You will need to extract it to C backslash doggy coins in order for everything to work properly. And uh, if you want to basically have it start up with your system, you'll have to add this file right here into your startup folder. I'm just going to go the easy way. EXE, that's what I prefer. So it might come up as malicious. You're going to have to put keep. Um, depending if you have Firefox or Internet Explorer, same warning might pop up. It's not a very popular download, so that's why. You're going to want to open that. Again, Windows is very not, not a very popular program as far as people using it, so Windows doesn't know if it's safe. We're going to click More Info, and we're going to hit Run anyway. You want to leave that default. Here we go. So now we have the program itself pop up. Um, basically what you want to do now is go into your receive coin address and you're going to put in your address because that's where you want the money to go rather than just this generic. So we're going to paste that in there. Um, a couple of different options here. You got idle. Uh, what's nice is we can run this in the background so when we're working your system's running nice and fast. When you walk away it'll start um, running the the miner and we go to sleep and everything will be it'll be mining. Uh, you could also run it during certain hours. Let's say you're sleeping during this hour, this hour you hit run, it'll auto start during those hours. 
Um, so what I want to do first is I'm going to just um, test it. We want to make sure that the mine is working just fine. And basically to test it, all I have to do is just hit start. And basically what should happen is a DOS screen should pop up like this. It's the CG miner. And it will say, it should say GPU um, and then give me a number. And that's my kill hash. And it should tell me how many coins, basically that the higher the number, the, the more coins I'm going to get. Um, it might take a couple minutes the first time. So what I'm looking for here is this number right here, GPU zero. If you have more than one graphics card, it might be one, two, three, etc. Et um, so we have here it's mining about around 200. Um, it will show you my average up here around 200 kilo hash a second, which is great. It's accepting. That's very good. So everything's working just the way it should. Um, so now that I know it's working, I'm going to hit end process. For some reason, it errors out. Things don't start up right. Um, gives you no GPU found. It might be that you don't have your graphics card is a little bit older, and um, you might need a certain version of the ATI software. But because mine's working, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to hit Start Program Invisibly, and I'm going to click PC Idle. So this will basically only run invisibly and when the PC is idle. And about 10 seconds after my mouse has stopped moving, it's going to run in the background. I won't even know it's running. Come back, use it. It stops the program automatically. So I just hit Start and Save. And then I can exit it. And you can even exit the wallet. I mean, that doesn't have to be open for you to get coins. Um, after you know a couple hours, you should go back to your wallet here and just go to your history. And you should be able to see a bunch of coins coming in. I mean, I've just left it on for... I don't know, maybe an hour or two, I've already had 1,500 coins. Now, what that converts to in US dollars, uh, it changes uh, constantly. So if you go to the bottom here, you see a coin mill converter. Click on this. And you can actually convert in and put, you know, let's say I just got 1,500 in a couple hours to see what that is. Uh, 37 cents. So not a super lot, but that price could increase over time. It might go down over time. Um, if you're worried about kind of it going down, you can use this here, Cripsy Exchange, and you can exchange it into Bitcoin, which is a very stable coin. Um, also, if you want to check kind of the status of the mining, you can click this link right here, and we'll show you uh, how you know when the next expi expected time to share is, and um, different block things information here. Also, has a list of the payout addresses. Your address should be in there at some somewhere. So the last thing is if you had issues with the um, ATI drivers um, and just didn't work right, it didn't show you the accepted, it didn't show you the GPI, run through these steps right here. Um, you want to basically uninstall all ATI software, go to add remove programs, remove it fully, restart the computer. Then you're going to run this bat file. Um, you're going to run that open as administrator and just hit yes to anything it wants to delete. It's going to remove any remnant files that might not have gotten deleted with the initial uninstall. Finally, you're going to download the, this specific model of ATI drivers. It's a 13.1. Seems to work very well with um, any kind of Bitcoin mining software. Then you're going to install that, restart the computer. Then you're going to install the AMD SDK pack. It's just a, uh, a pack AMD put out. Again, helps with the Bitcoin mining software. Then go back and you're going to run the, the software again. You're going to go to this directory. So that should be it. If you, um, the first 50 people who uh, get some coins, please uh, post a picture and we will, I will actually send you some extra um, dog, uh, doggy coins here um, just because I want to just make sure everything's working good with the software and help you guys out. So please uh, post that in there and that would be great. Any questions, please post. And if you like this video, please subscribe on this YouTube post. I have a lot of different videos coming out, different altcoins, different things like that. And please give me a thumbs up or like if you also like this video. That helped me out immensely. All right, hope you liked the video. Thanks. I just wanted to say thank you for watching my video. And if you have some time, um, please click the subscribe button here. And if you also liked it, please give me the thumbs up like. Um, that will help me, my videos out greatly in my channel. And finally, you can actually um, view 
uh, more about my posts and videos at reviewoutlaw.com. I put a link here in the show notes. Thank you.